Gentlemen, look at you, you found yourself a special somebody. But that special somebody lives 200 miles away. How can you cope with this problem? What can you do? What are the best ways of coping in a long distance relationship? And this is undoubtedly one of the biggest challenges you'll face if you're dating a woman. If she lives a long way away, it's difficult to maintain regular contact, you don't see the person very often. How can you keep the relationship healthy and fresh? Now personally, I've been in a long distance relationship in the past and I'm currently in one at the moment, which I've been in for about a year and a half. So I felt like this was a good opportunity to tell you guys my five best long distance relationship tips. Tip number one, avoid excessive communication. Now this may seem stupid, you know, if you're in a long distance relationship, you're gonna have to put some effort in and remain in regular contact with the person. And that's definitely true to an extent, but I see tons and tons of people who are in long distance relationships and sometimes just regular relationships that just communicate way too much with the other person. And typically this will be through things like text messaging, uh, Facebook messaging, ringing people three to four times a day, it's a bit crazy. The problem is, if you're in a long distance relationship and you're spamming each other with these messages, there isn't much left to talk about when you actually see that person. And as well as that, it kind of makes you lose trust with each other. Um, I find that this often happens, you get these clingy couples who spam each other continually with messages, and then when someone's doing something and can't immediately reply, the other person gets worried for no reason at all. And then they start getting paranoid, and it's just not a healthy relationship. So yes, you can communicate with this person regularly, but avoid this excessive communication. Both you and your partner's got to know that you've got your own lives, you have things to do, you'll still make enough effort to see each other, but you won't be spamming each other. You've got to build the trust to keep the relationship. Tip number two is schedule in visits to each other and also general timings with things. Now this is one of the unique difficulties with long distance relationships, especially if you both have full time jobs, it's really hard to work out when you can actually see each other. The best thing I would recommend is learning each other's work schedules. What days you're in, what days you're off, when's the next time you're going to see each other and sort of mark that down in your diary. This will mean that you can just get more done and I would recommend generally having a basic plan of what you're going to do generally every week anyway but when it comes to relationship things you need to really mark it down because otherwise this can take up tons of the time and then you'll be left scrambling around to do all the rest of the stuff that you need to do that week so organize it in advance and make sure you both know where you're going to be at what time tip number three is find a way to earn extra money so that you can spend it and actually do things together when you finally meet each other again if you're maintaining regular communication through messaging, you're going to want the time that you actually spend together to be extra special. And the issue really arises when you mount up the travel costs on top of the cost of the things that you're really going to be doing. Because fun things very rarely come at a low price. So you've really got to find yourself something extra that you can do to earn some money to pretty much cover this cost. Unless you're absolutely loaded, which... You know, fair enough, if you've got 100 grand a year, you don't have to worry. But I think for the majority of you guys out there, having a long distance relationship can be quite a financial burden. So maybe you could take on a very small job, only a few hours a week alongside your main job. And uh, maybe you could do stuff like um, selling stuff on eBay, starting a YouTube channel, which believe me, it doesn't earn as much as you would ever, ever expect. But anything that you can do, even if it's mowing the neighbor's lawns regularly for a small fee, it all adds up and it can help to wipe away the cost of this relationship. Because sitting in all day, not being able to afford to go out and actually do anything together is gonna leave her very bored. Tip number four is instead of just voice calling all the time, try video calling more. It's nice to actually see the other person's face. It not only warms the cockles of your heart, but I find that it stimulates more conversation because you can see their facial expressions and facial reactions to different things that you're saying. And I think some men are maybe uh, afraid to do this. I'm not really sure why, but uh, for me, in my relationship at least, I find it's a lot nicer and I like to see my girlfriend's face. I like to talk to her more. It's fun. And you can mess about on the camera. You can show things that are happening around you. It's much more interesting than a simple voice call, which can often be robotic, boring, just doesn't work for me. For me, video calling is more human, and it's the next closest thing you can really get to seeing the person in person. And the final tip on this list, tip number five, is play an online game together. 
Because at times, a long distance relationship, no matter how much you love the person, it can get boring because you're not actually doing that much stuff together, you can't see each other that often, sometimes things can get a bit drab. So what you can do through the power of the internet, which I'm presuming everyone has because you're watching my videos, um, playing online games together c can give you sort of a fun and unique experience. In my relationship, for instance, We've just started playing Roller Coaster Tycoon together. There's this special modification on the game, which means that we can play each other now across the internet and, and, and build a park at the same time. And it's fun. It's something to talk about and to do. And it's just a nice experience to have when you're not with the person. But that's just one suggestion. There are thousands of different games out there that you can play. And, and just try and take some time out of your day to do this. Even if you're not necessarily a gamer or anything like that, some of these games are actually quite fun, especially when they're with the other person. The question I'm asking you guys today is how many miles away does your girlfriend or boyfriend actually live from you? I want to see who's got the largest distance, so whack it in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, something a bit different for the channel, make sure you leave it a like and also make sure you subscribe for some more sort of relationship advice, how to act around women and stuff, um, and also advice to do with men's style and grooming so you can actually attract them in the first place.